um, Saturday haul in for you guys today and I just want to go ahead and apologize in advance if this video is a little bit more PR heavy than I would like and probably that you guys would like. PR that I do receive is from brands that I genuinely love and purchase from. I did get in some stuff that I purchased but I've just kind of been um, out of sorts and not like ordering makeup for the, pa for the past while if you will. Um, I've been trying to get over the loss of my dog that I had to put down in May. He had a congestive heart failure and he finally stopped eating and he was kind of withering away so I had to put him down and that was really hard and then um, more recently I lost um, our stud who I trained and I mean uh, he was my main man. He was an own son of Dean Miracle. Um, he was just the best. He was the best. His name was like the odds and we called him odds for short and he was just stunning. He was almost all quarter horse and he had just a sliver of paint in him and it was all running blood but he was black and white and I mean just drop dead gorgeous horse. And I just I loved him. I'm trying to like get I mean I'm not gonna get over it you know what I mean but pull through and like makeup and like filming videos and stuff like that are really therapeutic for me just a little preface there if i in some kind of way so let's go ahead and start off with the things that i purchased and then get into some of the pr so i did go ahead and get those two uh color pop palettes um i had hauled two of these um a couple weeks back and i really liked them they were from a, a particular collection and then these ones came out before that one and there's actually three of them and for whatever reason, I don't know why I didn't order the third one. It's like, I think, more orange one. But I ordered these two. So they're the ColourPop Pressed Powder Palettes. There's 0.28 ounces of product in here. Uh, nine shades. There's a couple of um, Super Shocks in here as well. And ColourPop products are made in the USA. So I'll start off with the one that I've actually got on my eyes today. And that is the Coast is Clear Pressed Powder Palette. Uh, it's this guy right here. And I've got on like six of the shades. So there's one, there are two Super Shocks in this one, which are these two shades right here. And I've got a little bit of each of those on my eyes today. And just, they're just really nice palettes. Um, affordable, small, compact, nice amount of shades. Both of these two particular ones um, are standalones for me as well. So just some really pretty shimmers in there too. And then these next ones. I really like how the uh, eye look turned out today on my eyes as well. Is my camera focusing? It better be. And then this last one, which I've got in the crease. So there are the swatches right there of the Coast is Clear. They're calling it the Pressed Powder Palette, but again, there are two Super Shocks in that one. And the next one is called Clearly in Love. And this one also has got two Super Shock shades in there, which are these two right here. And there's some warm and some cool and some pinky berry kind of colors in here. And again, this one's a, a standalone for me as well. And then these next ones. And then this last one. So that one is the Clearly in Love. Uh, pressed powder palette from uh, ColourPop. It's got that acrylic packaging on it. And then over the 4th of July, M Cosmetics was doing a 4th of July sale. I think it was 20% off. So I got a couple products from there. I really wanted to try the bronzer. So this is the uh, Corselet Sculpting Powder Bronzer. There's 10 grams of product or 0.35 ounces. The shade that I got is Slip. 
and this guy here is made in the USA so this is the box packaging and I've actually been wearing this bronzer for the past week and it's a really pretty shade I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it next to the house labs ones just so you can see the tones I've actually prior to getting this one I've worn the house labs bronzer I think every single day since I got it and I actually hit pan on it and it's such an easy to use type of build up bronzer so anyway I'll just swatch the two together because that's kind of been my go-to as of the moment but this is a really good color as well it's just a nice tone it's not orangey or anything like that I think it's it's pretty neutral on my skin tone and it blends out really nice it's got nice pigmentation to it um, I would say it's got like a either the soft matte kind of finish or like a satin matte finish it's not like a flat matte though there's a little bit of a extra something to it than just matte so that is the uh, sculpting powder bronzer in the shade slip right there and then here's the house labs powder sculpt velvet bronzer in light level one which as you can see i've been using a lot this is such a wonderful formula it's so like creamy so you can see that the the M one is a little bit deeper than the House Labs one, but same thing, like the tones of these are very neutral on my skin and they just both work out for me really, really well. So that's the M bronzer in Slip. And then I also got the two six pan shadow palettes or the Divine Skies Eye shadow palettes that I didn't have because I think this formula is really nice from M Cosmetics. So there are six shades that are 0 0.05 ounces each in here. And these palettes, the eye palettes, are made in Italy. And I do like that they um, change the coloring of the packaging on them as well so you can distinguish one from the other easily. And these two palettes came out with a specific collection. I just can't remember the name of it. But um, this first one is the Divine Skies Eyeshadow Palette in Rodin. And again, the formulation from M on these is just really, really pretty. So each of these has two shimmers and then one kind of satin and then three mattes. And the three mattes in the palettes are on the bottom and then the two like, well they're like metallic shimmers really. And then these two mats here. I am able to make these uh, both standalones. Um, however, I do wish that maybe one of the shimmers was a bit brighter, but I can make them work and they still come out with really pretty standalone looks for me. So that is Rodin right there. It's got the lighter tan packaging. And then this next one is the Da Vinci Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. And this has got warmth in it too, but it's got some more depth to it than the other one. So there are your two kind of shimmer metallics and then a satin and three mattes on the bottom there. And I left the other swatches up so you can see them together as well. And then these two shades. So that one right there is Da Vinci, and then that one is Rodin right there. So you can see the tones together if you were kind of thinking about um, either of these. Josie Marin was also doing 20% off during the 4th of July, so I was on my last bottle of the Daily Moisturizer SPF 47, which is my everyday SPF and moisturizer. So I got three of the two fluid ounce bottles. I don't even see on their um, actual website that they make the large four ounces anymore, which I used to purchase those, but I don't see them anymore. And I just got the clear one this time. Um, a lot of times I would get um, one tinted and then one clear and I like to mix them which I still like to do that um, but th when I mix the tinted one with the original uh, it does add a little extra kind of warm bronziness to my foundation so more recently I've been just using the original kind of uh, clear one that isn't tinted and then I get a bit more or a bit less should I say warmth in my foundation um, so that's kind of what I've been doing and so I went ahead and I just got three of the 
um, original ones. And that's kind of everything that I got in this week that I purchased. So let's kind of get into some PR. So this first one is from Pharmacy and it's the new and limited edition Green Clean Peachified. So I actually just used up the, um, they did a limited edition extra large tub and I just finished that. And I use their, um, their Green Clean Cleansing Balms uh, to travel. So it's the only cleanser I need to bring because it breaks down my makeup and then I can double cleanse with it because it cleans so well and doesn't strip the skin. It's just one of my absolute favorite cleansing products that I've ever used. I can't even tell you how many I've gone through and purchased of this product. So they've been coming out with like limited edition um, versions of it and this one is peach based. And then inside of here there's actually a jar of um, jam, I think you'd call it jam, right? Uh, but it's the Farm to People Peach and Honey, handmade in small batches from Brooklyn. Um, so it's got a, like a little collaboration on there. And it's a jar of like jam. And then the ingredient list is sun ripened peaches, pharmacy buckwheat honey, fresh lemon juice, and fruit pectin. So I'm going to have to put this in the fridge and try it out. And then it says on the packaging of the Peaches and Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm that one balm equals 20 mils on the packaging. And Pharmacy does do kind of a lot of uh, philanthropic work um, too. So that's great about the brand as well. So this is made in the USA and this one is their normal size of 3.4 fluid ounces packaging is just super cute on that and this one smells like peaches and I've never had a pharmacy um, green clean or makeup melt away cleansing balm that had a, a scent to it ever irritate my skin and this is just one of my absolute favorite um, cleansing products in general both for uh, breaking down makeup and then also for a double cleanse it's just wonderful so again this one smells like peaches there's a little spatula in the top it's a peach color and it smells great. I um, am particularly fond of the cherry one and also the original green one. That The smell of that one just does something for me when I use it. So huge thank you to Pharmacy for sending over their latest launch in the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm there in Peaches and Clean. I just, I just love this stuff. I waited to the very last minute to turn on my warmer lights that are a hotter light bulb because the other ones are like LEDs so they don't get as hot. It's 96 degrees outside. Um, I don't have like central air in my house so in the background you can hear the air conditioners. Um, but it is like, I don't know, 110% humidity. It is so, so sticky. So, um, I turned on the bulb lights right before I like started filming. Right. And I'm just like melting because they're very, very hot, but it's, it's the mix that I have with these lights of the cool and the warm tones that gets the accuracy of the colors and the swatches and stuff, the best that I can get it. So <laughs> I have to put up with it. Otherwise it's going to be a little inaccurate with, with the swatches and stuff. So anyway, if I'm extra shiny, I, I am melting. And then next up in PR, Urban Decay sent me over three of their new Vice Lip Bonds. It says up to 16 hour color that stays on when everything else comes off. And then it says coming July of 2022, but they are available. It is July of 2022. <laughs> um, they are available on the Urban Decay website. And I think I've also seen them on Sephora and Ulta. Um, but this is the uh, PR card that came inside of the box. And then they sent me three shades of the product and I was so excited to get one of the shades that I was most interested in that I just put it on right away without like reading anything about it. Um, I think I did end up shaking it, but um, I was really excited to get it on because it looked really pretty and glossy. And then as the day went on, I had, um, I had a snack or something like that and it was only about on my lips for maybe 45 minutes and it just was interlined inside of my lips, right? So today I took the extra time to kind of read all of the information on here and it does say shake me. So I shook the one that I wanted to wear today, which is a pink, very similar to what's on my lips because I did have that on prior and then I took it off and went over it with something. And to me, they are much like a liquid lipstick that I've used in liquid lipstick form, except for they feel they have a tack to them and they're really, really glossy. So that's kind of why I initially went on a little bit heavier thinking that they, they didn't have that dry down but there is a dry down aspect to this particular formulation um, and I went over it with a really thin layer and I did use a lip liner and the lip liner um, if you are to like 
you know mush your lips together uh, the after the product sets on your lips it will pick up at the lip line where you put lip liner so um, it'd be best to use these without a lip liner because it kind of does something with the formulation now with that thin layer that I had on earlier um, I let it dry and everything like that and I was able to kind of you know mush my lips together and try to avoid the lip line and it was fine and then I had something to eat and it was again it was only on for like an hour or so and I mean it was all removed on the inner portion of my lips and I kind of just left it a little while longer and the gathering of the product on the inner rim of the lips was just for me it was just unbearable <laughs> so I had to I took it off because <laughs> I just it just wasn't looking super cute so um I'm going to play around with them some more, but I've never, again, personally have been a huge fan of a liquid lipstick. I, I get a lot of that inner rim stuff with most formulas that I've used. I think the Fenty ones had been the best that I'd used in terms of liquid lipsticks. And also um, the Kaleidos ones are really good, but those aren't uh, like a set down actual like budge proof liquid lipstick formula either. They're more of a moussey um, silicone based matte formula. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys, but I'm just, I'm just not super nuts about them. The pink shade that I loved in this range is actually really close to Cream Cup. So when I wiped it off, I just put Cream Cup on and I'll just go ahead and swatch. Um, Cream Cup is from MAC right here. Just so you guys can see it uh, next to these ones. These are very like pigmented and stuff like that. And it does say on here to shake me and I mean, let me tell you, I shook the one that I put on. And if any of you guys have tried these and are really familiar with tons of different liquid lipstick formulations, I'd love to know you guys' feedback. Again, I've never been a huge fan of a liquid lipstick personally. It's just not my favorite um, lip product to, to use, but I know a lot of people love them. So, you know, it could be a more personal thing for me. And if you've tried these, maybe you can compare them to other liquid lipsticks if you are a liquid lipstick wearer. <laughs> So this shade that I'm talking about here is the shade Cuffed Up, which is the pink one. I do really like the packaging on this and the fact that they made the tops different colors on every single one, but while keeping the packaging cool so you can tell which one is which. I love that about uh, the packaging on these. So this one is Cuffed Up. You can see the tones on these are just about the same. And these do, with the dry down or after the set, they do um, remain like sticky and they have a really high glossy shine to them so just a FYI there um, and then this next one is more of a nude shade and this is the shade pleased it's a warm nude so that's the shade pleased and then the last shade is PDA which is a rosy shade so that one right there is PD, yeah, PDA right there. And that's what the wand looks like as well. And then let me tell you real quick to um, the amount of product in here. There's 0.14 fluid ounces of product and these are made in the USA. So this is what the um, packaging on them looks like. And a huge thank you to Urban Decay for sending these over. I've you know been a, a customer of the brand for many many years <laughs> and then lastly I got a PR package from the house of Siage and the box on this one isn't their normal white they've switched it up and it's just a it's just a really pretty box that I'm going to like find another purpose for after the fact the fragrance is called Passion de l'Amour Passion de l'Amour by house of Siage uh, Nouvelle Liaison so uh, Passion de l'Amour is a fragrance in their core range and this is a spin-off of that and I did have a um, or I do have a sample of all of their core range fragrances and um, this particular one the Passions de l'Amour just was too strong too rich too kind of deep for my liking um, this one here has got a spin of vanilla in it that I can sense and when I've worn this I put no more like for me anyway <laughs> you guys know I'm a huge like uh, vanilla kind of gourmand fragrance person um, no more than two spritzes of this uh, because again it is quite um, strong but let me read the notes in there to you guys and when I first smelled it uh, because of that vanilla I was like gosh this really reminds me of something 
and it was Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, which uh, I found the, a little sample of that and just recently to come kind of compare. And they both have that vanilla aspect, but Tom Ford is more like a smoky fragrance. And that's also a really strong fragrance. I had contemplated many times purchasing a full bottle of the Tom Ford, but it's just a really uh, strong one for my, my preference. So anyway, back to Passion de l'Amour, uh, Nouvelle Liaison. Uh, this guy here has got top notes of bergamot, pink pepper and rose, heart notes of cedarwood, sandalwood, and leather, and then the base notes are musk, vanilla, and patchouli. And it says, an aromatic, earthy fragrance that combines the spiciness of pink pepper with sweet rose and sparkling bergamot. With a twist of smoky leather, it is deepened with oud, patchouli, and creamy vanilla. Perfect for those who expect a daring adventure life has to offer. Yeah, so this really is a deeper fragrance for me, so I think um, winter time or like at night and when I wore this two spritzes was all I needed and I could smell that all day long so it's a very long lasting um, perfume there's a uh, 30% perfume oil in here so that's a pretty uh, high concentration and when I first spritzed it I really got the vanilla and it kind of was like ooh, this is a you know got a strong vanilla but the vanilla kind of went um, down a little bit more than I would have liked so kind of when I've been spritzing this guy here this is the uh, card that is the uh, owner founder of the brand Nicole Mather right there just to show you guys the card here um, but I've been liking to mix this with something that's more gourmand so like one spritz of this and mixing it with some gourmands and I've tried a couple and they just kind of put a more me type of twist on this particular fragrance so anyway let me show you guys the bottle because it's absolutely stunning this is the box that it comes in again like how it's so hard like how do you how do you throw this stuff away? I probably won't. <laughs> and then this fragrance comes in one of their more traditional style fragrance bottles as opposed to the cupcake ones. And then you've got the little lizard that's on there and it's a green bottle. And the way these open is there's a little button right here that pops it open and then you spritz it. So yeah, and even when I like sniff the um, fragrance portion, I get the vanilla, but when I put it on me, um, I don't smell the vanilla as much as I would like. I smell the sandalwood for sure and a lot of the patchouli and musk and I can also get the pepper. So if you like those particular notes, you might really like this fragrance. And I know they're quite expensive. They're actually having a wicked sale on their website right now. But the thing with these fragrances is you only need one or two spritzes. You know, I've got some fragrances that I absolutely love. Um, Prada Candy Kiss is getting really hard to find. But I mean, I would put six or seven sprays of that perfume on me. <laughs> you know, you just don't need to do that with these ones because of the concentration of perfume oil so a huge thank you to the house of siage for sending me over their latest fragrance there that's the uh, passion de l'amour nouvelle liaison right there and again that is the card information right there and that is everything that i have for my haul today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful thank you for watching do not forget to wear sunscreen and i will see you guys later bye